the comradeship in the military was was huge for me. I was used to being surrounded by people that taught my language, that understood what I'd been through. I left school at 16, joined the army. My father gave me his old army suitcase and I started to unpack it in a room on day one. And straight away I was told I wouldn't need any of the kit that I brought with me for six weeks. And I realised then, then it was going to be something a little bit different. When you join the military, the people around you, your colleagues and your friends, you share some remarkable adversity and they become, in many cases, lifelong friends. The friendships continue far beyond military service without a shadow of a doubt. You know, we even have our own, our own language. We talk a, a language that's often unique to the military environment. So, for example, if I was a Royal Marine and I wanted a, a cup of tea, I might say I fancy a wet. And sometimes it can be hard for civilians to get their head around that language. Um, but it is quite unique. In the military, you were mandated to be physically fit, mentally fit. You could be called upon at a moment's notice to deploy anywhere in the world. Uh, and it happened to me, certainly, within three days, I had a phone call and I was flying off to Baghdad. And if you weren't physically fit, mentally fit and prepared, then certainly you'd find it quite challenging. That makes it a little bit different, I think, to civilian life. And the other big thing about military life for me was that pretty much all of your basic life support w was provided. On Barrett, you could walk out of your, your accommodation block and, uh, and walk to the medical centre or dental centre and get seen straight away. Why don't veterans reach out for help? I think there's a number of reasons why that happens. I mean, first of all, certainly in, in my experience when I was serving, that didn't really serve us to, to show our emotions, particularly when we were deployed abroad or working at the coalface. And we tend to try and avoid showing any signs of vulnerability or weakness. And also, I think uh, what's, what's great about military life, of course, is that in many ways it prepares you to be self-reliant and to try and solve the problem and sort the problem out yourself. It was quite hard in civilian life sometimes to try and find people that shared those same values and talk the same language. That lack of understanding, that lack of uh, a shared value system can certainly uh, bring concerns in terms of mental health and, and, and physical well-being for sure as a veteran.